Hi, it's another beautiful day in Cota de Casa. I'm right outside the clubhouse, and today we're going to talk about this beautiful plant. This is Lion's Ear, Leonotus Leonurus. It's also known as Lion's Tail and Wild Daga. It's a member of the mint family. It's an evergreen shrub native to the grasslands of South Africa, where it's very common. It grows between three and six feet tall. It was introduced to Europe in the 1600s and cultivated as an ornamental plant to be used in gardens and parks. Today it's found in the subtropics, Mediterranean climates, California, Hawaii, and Australia. It's very easy to grow, it's drought tolerant, and requires very little maintenance. These long mint-like leaves are very aromatic when you crush them up. So that's something to do with this plant. And the flowers are much more interesting. So these flowers here are tubular flowers and they form whorls around the stem. Now this plant in warmer climates will flower all the way through winter. And these flowers are designed to attract not just butterflies and other insects, but especially the nectivorous sunbirds of South Africa. So if you look at how this is shaped here, curvature of the tube, and you can compare that to the curvature of a sunbird's bill, it's a perfect match. And this is a great example of coevolution between two species. Now, if you dry up these leaves, or also if you dry up the flowers, you can smoke them to get high. Just like uh, smoking marijuana, but just not as strong. And a lot of people smoke this instead of pot. Now, I don't, but I've heard that some people do. Now, because of that, this plant is illegal in both Latvia and Poland. So does this plant have any medicinal properties? And it sure does. It has a component called merubin, which functions as an antioxidant and has cardioprotective properties. It has shown to improve myocardial function. Infusions have been made from the flowers, the seeds, the leaves, and the stems to treat tuberculosis, jaundice, muscle cramps, high blood pressure, diabetes, hepatitis, dysentery, and diarrhea. The leaves and the roots, now they can be used for snake bites, bee and scorpion stings. But beware, because in rat studies, High doses have been shown to have adverse effects on organs, red blood cells, white blood cells, and other important bodily functions. Well, I hope you enjoyed our story about lion's ear, Leonotus leonurus, and please join me for another episode of our plants in Go to the Casa. All right, bye-bye.